Hey everybody, Gemma here. It is day six of sitting better, but today we are not going to be sitting. We are going to be standing. Now, the reason why I am going to talk a little bit about standing is because it's a really good transition from sitting. So remember I said sitting too much all the time, all day, every day, is what's bad for us. It's not the actual sitting that's bad for us. But we need to be careful because um, quite a lot of the time people say, I know how to solve that, just stand up, have a standing desk. Standing can also cause us problems if we do it every day, all day, all of the time. <laughs> okay, standing is still being still. So we need to be careful about our language and how we make the transition. But going from sitting to standing throughout the day can be one good way of incorporating movement and changing our position up. When we do stand, we need to be careful about how we stand because if you are somebody who has spent a lot of their time sitting, um, then your muscles may have adapted and you may end up when you do stand in a position that can cause you backache. So that's why some people say, oh, when I stand, I actually get really bad backache. It's because your muscles just aren't used to it. So let's try a couple of things out. So first of all, here I am at my standing desk. Um, and what I see sometimes is I, I see sometimes people hanging off the hinge point of their back and we often get pain around here. So let's pretend I'm someone who is typing away, doing their work. Um, and as you can see here, I have tucked my pelvis under. So I've shifted my pelvis. Imagine I've got a towel and I've flicked it between my legs. And to remain upright, I've poked my head forwards, rounded my shoulders, and I'm now hanging off that hinge point, and I'm thrusting my weight forwards into the balls or into the toes of my foot, okay? And this is what can give us a little bit of pain. To adjust this, you might want to try in repositioning your pelvis, okay? So you're untucking your pelvis, shifting your weight a little bit back into your heels, all right? And you want to make sure that your ribs are down, same thing with the sitting, and your shoulders are nice and relaxed, and your head is tucked, head nice and long, okay? And that should relieve that pressure onto the back here. If you're like me, and you tend to spill water at the front, so you move your pelvis in an anterior tilt, so this means that you, your tail is flicking upwards, okay? This could also cause, can you see the high hinge there, the big lumbar curve? This could also mean that we can hang off of that joint as well, okay? So even though our pelvis is tilted in the opposite direction, it can still mean that we're gonna hang off of those joints and get a really achy back. So again, adjust your pelvis. This time, if you think you're one of those people, tuck under a little bit okay so you don't want to tuck all the way under you just want to tuck under a little bit and readjust your position and that should help you if you're finding it tricky to adjust your pelvis take a look at what your feet are doing if your feet are standing like this so their feet everted you might find it helpful to move your feet in a position where they are hip distance apart. So find those bony hip bones at the front and move your feet so that they're, that they're the same distance apart and have your toes pointing forwards, okay? Um, because when our feet are like this or we're hanging off to one side, this can also cause pain and it can make us thrust our pelvis forward into a different position. Okay, so I hope that helps you with, um, oh look at the book I just picked up. Ah, oh, Katie Bowman. <laughs> She's the excellent, don't just sit there. <laughs> right, so the other thing that you might be finding is if you've got a laptop, is that you are forced to have your head pointing forwards like this, okay? Um, so one of the things that I've done, and I think that you may benefit from, is um, a, 
a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, and if you've got a laptop like mine, whoops, you can flip it over, okay, so you've just got the, the screen. But even if yours doesn't, you can pop the screen a little bit higher. Whether you've expertly got an extra shelf like I have, or you just use a stack of books to elevate it, you can elevate it so that your eye, that the screen is now at the height of your eyes, and then you can use your keyboard so it's just at the right height, and that should help you with the comfort of or getting comfortable standing. Okay. Um, if you want some more information about how to position your pelvis, because I did go through it quite quickly with you, and it can, can get quite technical, then, then give me a comment in the comments box, um, and I will do a separate video about neutral pelvis. Okay, see you soon. Hope you're well. Bye.